This video, I decided to get a glow up to feel better about myself. That's basically what I do whenever I feel a little low. I just get out and get a glow up and start a whole new life and feel better about it. Good morning, you guys. Or good evening, or good night, or whatever time you're watching this video. I am in need of an urgent glow up. I mean, look at me. And look at my nails. Just, just... Look at me, okay? I am awake. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now. I have my waxing appointment in an hour. <sighs> my morning is not going that well because it is snowing outside and it's really cold and I don't like the cold. And now I have to wear extra layers of clothing, which I don't like because I feel like I'm suffocating. But anyways, that's besides the point. I'm glowing up in this video because I wanna feel good about myself, but this is also my monthly maintenance routine. So this is like a glow up video slash monthly maintenance routine. I don't know which title to pick, which goes better with what, but basically I'm gonna be glowing up because if you have been watching my videos, you already know, I have been going through a rough patch the past couple of months. So I really feel like I need this. I just want to be pampered and feel good about myself and when I glow up, I always feel good I feel very confident and I feel like I have my shit together But when my nails look like this and my face looks like this and my hair looks like this I feel like I'm such a mess. So I'm already ready as you can see I am about to go to my vaccine appointment and then hit the gym Which is probably the worst idea ever because you're not supposed to hit the gym after you wax but i'm just gonna do a slight workout and then come home and take a quick shower so my freshly waxed skin does not get like you know ruined i just don't want to lose any workouts it is really hard to get an appointment with anything these days nails couldn't get them brows couldn't get them i couldn't get an appointment anywhere these days i don't know what's going on but everyone is so packed up they're always busy and i finally got an appointment early in the morning so that is why i'm awake but I am waking up early, but I usually spend my mornings at home meditating, scripting, and just taking care of myself. But today, I literally woke up, had breakfast, meditated, and I'm about to head out. So let's go get waxed. You guys, I haven't waxed in two months. I did shave once because I had to urgently shave. Now for what you guys are thinking, but it's just that it was growing too much and there were no available places for me. And I wanted to shave, so I just shaved it off. So yeah, basically I'm gonna do a full body wax today and I kind of forgot how the pain feels like so I'm just going to go through the pain again today and remind myself why I hate and love waxing at the same time. Me and waxing have a love-hate relationship at this point. So right after hitting the gym, I managed to get a nail appointment which I got very lucky with and look at my face here. I look so exhausted and tired of life but I got my nails done in just two hours, so I was kind of glad and happy. Okay, you guys, so I am home. Yes, I look like a mess because I am a mess. But I got my nails done and I got waxed. So I went to a whole new technician. No, esthetician. I went to a whole new esthetician and she was so good at her job. I did not even feel that much pain. By the way, you guys, a little life hack for my wax girlies do not wax around your period time because your skin is more sensitive and you are going to feel more pain so i am very far away from my period time so i didn't feel pain and the way she did everything was so freaking quick i'm basically very happy with the results now let's talk about my nails so i managed to get a last minute appointment with my nail artist who is the same person i used to get my nails done before so i went back to her after months and here are my nails they're basically just white milky white basically and they're pretty short and the reason they're short is because i go to the gym and i lift weights and i lift heavy weights and i do not want to break my nail i want my nails to stay like this and it is way more comfortable to just live with short nails for a while i want to take a break from long nails because when i have long nails i have to be careful with every single thing around me so that i don't break something i might break my nail i'm so freaking happy that i got my nails done i feel so relaxed i have been waiting for this moment for like weeks now i'm so happy that i got two things just done in one day kill two birds two birds in one shot kill two birds at once something like that It is like 8 
o'clock in the morning again and I'm going to go get my hair done and my brows. <sighs> Why am I doing this to myself? I wanted to wake up early so I set my appointment really early. Uh, my appointment is in like two hours. I have two hours to get ready and get there. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, look at my brows. I haven't got my brows done in like two months now. And I really want to try this new technique that I saw on TikTok. Um, hopefully, I don't mess it up. And I am getting my hair colored as well at the same place. So first, I'm going to get my brows done. And then I'm going to get my hair done. And with the hair, I want to do something a little crazy. But obviously, I'm not going to do something like pink, blue, purple. I just want to go blonde but not that blonde and I also don't want to go full blonde so I want to just try something new I have a few reference pictures and I showed it to them and they were like we can do it but every single time I show them a picture they do completely the opposite so wish me luck hopefully this time they get it and they don't mess it up anyways I need to get rid now okay you guys so I am wearing something comfortable because I am gonna be sitting there for like five hours and I don't want to be uncomfortable so yeah hopefully everything turns out well for me I am afraid I don't want to look uglier by the end of this okay okay you guys so I am back home and this is what my hair looks like I definitely went out of my comfort zone and got something very different from what I usually get because usually I sit around my comfort zone and just don't get out of it so this year I really wanted to like get out of my comfort zone and do a lot of things that I'm not really comfortable with so this is my new hair absolutely different from what I usually get and I got my brows done by the way you guys I used a TikTok filter to see my eyebrow mapping and then I showed it to this girl basically the girl who does my brows I went to someone new this time and I showed her this mapping and I was like listen this is how it's supposed to look and she did the exact same mapping and it was very similar to what she learned in cosmetic school whatever that's called and then she did my brows and it's a little too dark right now but it will get lighter but about my hair, I don't really know how I feel about my hair. I feel like it is a little too light for my skin tone, like it doesn't go with my skin tone. I did show Kylie Jenner's picture as reference, as an example of what I really wanted, but something that suits my skin tone, and she did this. So I don't really know how I feel about this, so let me know in the comment section down below, please, if this actually looks good on me or not, because I really don't know. I really don't know but then again my roots are again black as you can see so I don't really know how I feel about this but um hopefully everything will be okay and I will eventually fall in love with this look because I already paid for it and I can't go back because I already told her that I liked it so let me know please let me know please okay you guys so I have been with this hair for like what three hours four hours now and let me give you guys a little update I am definitely feeling the look. I feel so much more confident. I love it. I am in love with my new hair. I don't have to do my hair again for like another eight months. Hopefully I don't get it done. And I have been receiving a lot of compliments saying that I look really good and I am feeling myself right now. I feel so good. I feel like I'm already done glowing up but we do have a couple of things more to get done. But I already feel so much better about myself. Okay, you guys. So the next thing, my favorite thing, I'm gonna get my lashes done because do y'all see this like I have literally no lashes left on my lashes so I'm gonna go get lash extensions a question that I get very often is that are my lashes natural blah 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 because a lot of people think they are stick in lashes but no I get lash extensions that last for about four weeks like three to four weeks so no my lashes aren't mine but the tiny little lashes are basically glued onto my natural lashes so that's what's going on here anyways i anyways i feel like going for a whole new look like i have always been doing 3d doll effect 15 to 16 mm but this time i want to go for something more natural so i think i'll go for 3d but i'll probably go for like 12 or 13 mm instead of 15 and 16 because because i feel like as i'm getting older i want to look more natural and beautiful like i do not like the big lashes like very full lashes even though it really does look good i just want to try something 
a little simple this time so let's go ahead and do that hopefully i will not regret my decision because i have no idea how i look with short lashes okay girlies i got my lashes done as you can see so all i did was do 3d but i did a shorter length this time i did 13 mm instead of 16 mm what i usually do 3 mm is lower than what i usually go for but i feel like this is too much as well so maybe next time i would go for 2d instead of 3d and try to get a more natural look because i don't like how this looks like i feel like it still looks not very natural so yeah that is basically it you know i feel like i did glow up and I feel amazing, I feel good, I feel super confident, I feel like I am really really pretty and I just feel really good. So that was it for this glow up. I actually wanted to get more stuff done like a new tattoo but then I changed my mind. I was like nah, I don't want any more new tattoos. I used to be obsessed with tattoos but I don't want tattoos anymore. Not anytime soon. And I also wanted to go and get a facial done but there were no places available for another two weeks so I just lost interest in it and plus my skin is doing fine now but I will go later though. Maybe in my next glow up video I'll probably go but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about my new hair in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.